Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. In true Nuzlocke fashion, we start with the dog barking in the background because there's cops or drug dealers outside. I don't remember which one. All right, we're in this cave because we're gonna. Uh, we never went inside this cave. So before we continue on, we're gonna. I'm gonna see if I can fight any dudes in here. Did I ever catch anything in here? I want to say the answer is yes. I can't remember though, to be honest. It all blurs in my mind. Man. Oh, what's on my Oh, wow. You're weak. Maybe it's too late to go here. <laughs> and maybe I should actually just advance the game. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Screw it. Screw all my plans. Hey, what's the matter with you, Machop? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's actually advance the game forward. We are training Jolene so that she can learn her last move. So she can finally um, leave the form that she's currently in when she learns the last move that Gloom learns. Which I believe happens around level 44, so. And then she can evolve into her final form in all its majestic majesticness. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Valley. Now you're wondering, how do you go? I don't see where to go. Where do we go next, Wilkie? The answer is, you have to go back to the beginning. It's like Vincenzi says. You have to get back to the beginning. By the way, I, I took an entire day off. I can't. No, I cannot actually tell you why. Um, I think Mio's not a simp, but it's neither here nor there. I haven't got anything here, so that means whatever this is, not you, trash, can be caught. Oh, I don't have the... <laughs> I'm a dum-dum. I don't have the last gym badge. I was like, oh no, I beat the shit out of that trainer. Mm, I forgot. There's an entire other thing you have to do. Oh man, I completely forgot. I'm gonna be 100 with you. I completely forgot that we had to do this. You actually don't have the badge until you go inside here. I think he was a whirlpool? Dun, 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 dun. This is also where we can catch uh, Jotini, but I can't remember if you can get we can't we don't get Super Rod until we reach the second um, until we reach Kanto, so we basically can't catch anything here. I sure as hope I sure hope there wasn't a Pokemon there. I mean, there's a good chance we run into something else here, in which case I'd be very unfortunate if we did. But let's let's see. That was easy. Dragon Shrine. Okay. What is this? It's like this song? I'd never remember hearing it. Readers, your surf. Let us surf. That's right, I have to use Whirlpool. Alright, Raiders fan. Guess what move you get to learn? Please don't be a Pokemon I've got. Thank God, it's only Magikarps, I think. I think there's a small chance of it being Dratini, but... Good luck it being that, I guess. Raiders fan has been very... Not not very vocal, because he only said it once. But the fact that he has to be, unfortunately, be an, uh, an HM slave for this uh, run. For specifically water types. And I'm going to tell you right now. Whoever our water type is going to have to be that way. Because... For some godforsaken reason, the Pokemon company decided that, okay, so first of all, Surf, one of the greatest water moves, no complaints. Waterfall, okay. Whirlpool, actively terrible. I don't know why they decided, that's right, I need to actually use it on here. I don't understand why. I mean, we'll do it later. But whoever's our water Pokemon, if something happens to Raiders, spoiler alert, the next water type is going to learn all the moves that he had. So he's going to have to learn Surf, he's going to have to learn Whirlpool, and eventually he's also going to have to learn Waterfall. That's just the way it, the, just, that's just the way it is. Can't fight it. 
I don't know why they thought this was like. This is super easy. This is just a dragon fang. Hello, girl. Alright, I recognize your true power. I will now have your children. What? Rising badge. You will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Okay. Yeah! And this is, um, the strongest dragon move, right? Uh, TM. Dragon Breath, okay. <laughs> wow, she's so, like, passive-aggressive to me. I actually love it. When I come back from beating the Pokemon Gym, we're actually gonna get married. So. See, she's like, I've lost to you. But what back in the day, in Japan, actually, losing to you means you have to battle them. Funny enough, speaking of losing to someone and then having them be your wife, um, that was actually something that happens in Romna 1 and a half. I think it happens to Shampoo. I don't remember a lot about Romna 1. Romna. Romna? Romna 1 and a half. But here's what I do remember. Um, I took a random manga book from, I think, my school library that had, I think it was, whichever one Shampoo shows up in, I took that one. That's when I started reading the book, uh, the manga for Ramna, and that's the only, I think, um, part of it I've read. Uh, but anyway, in that chapter, they get into the fact of, like, um, so Ramna... Ramna? I, that's not how you say his... his uh, slash her name. Ramna. Yeah, Ramna. Um, Ramna. Uh, Ramna as a woman beat up Shampoo, and then that caused a vendetta like a death vendetta but then later on he beats him he beats her as a man because ramna depending on the uh i think if he either either he's in cold water or hot water i think he was originally a dude so he he recognizes himself as a dude i think but whenever he gets into cold water he turns into a woman because he dipped himself in like a girl who committed suicides like water or something <laughs> This is, again, from the one random manga book I read of Ramna. This is all I really know. I never watched the show. Um, my point is, though, is that Shampoo is really cute. You should look at her. She's really good. End story. But yeah, in that one, I always thought it was weird. It was like, um... What did you give me? You gave me the Mash Ball. Wait, what? Yeah, it has. I'm not gonna show you my egg, old man. Alright, let's go here. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? I always thought it was weird of like, um, you beat me and now I will be your wife because she was like immediately okay with it the second he beat her. And, and when I say beat her, I mean beat her in like fisticuff. She was like a super strong, um, fighter. And that's why she found it disgraceful when girl Romna beat her up. Um, cause it was like a disgrace to her clan or some shit, something like that. Um... Hey, Tentacruel. You suck. Leave me alone. Nobody likes you. <sighs> you know what's constricting to me? You. Your existence is a constriction against me. What up, fat man? Fight me. This guy knows a lot about Ramna. You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Pokedex and check it out. Okay. <gasps> I'm actually in Kanto. See, isn't this fucking awesome? Like, in general? Like, oh god. It's like... This is so cool. You go back to the beginning. God, everything about Pokemon. Gen 2 is fantastic and lovely. There's no denying it. There are people who will deny it to you, but... This reveal right here as a kid fucking blew my mind. I was like, whoa! It's the original place. Holy crap. And then I it was doubly doubly blown. Heh, <laughs> blown. When um you take your first step out and then like you actually after you beat the Elite Four, you actually go back to fight the Kanto gym leaders and like they're all strong and shit. And I was like, oh my god. This is awesome. What do you mean Missy's on a date? She's not allowed to date. She's fine. 
She's mine. Okay. So I don't need a water type. So let's see what I find here. Hello. Let's see if we can find one. Probably an onyx, right? Oh my god, Slowpoke! Holy crap! The Redemption? Can we actually get Slowpoke after failing? I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... I mean, he's cut. Jolene, do not crit this man! I swear to god. I don't like the idea of Slopo being fully paralyzed and then giving us that face. Oh. I'm not gonna do a lot of damage. See? Oh, of course you get confused. All my Pokemon have a 5,000% chance of being confused at any given point. Gonna use an Ultra Ball. I didn't have these when I first found you. And now I'm here without you, baby. Now get caught, you stupid... Okay, there you go. Negative reinforcement works every time. Just ask your gym teacher. Yeah! Dopey. The sweet sap leaks from its tail's tip. Although not nutritious, this tail is pleasant to chew on. Chew. Hmm. People are chewing on his tip. So I'm gonna call you... Just a tip. There you go. Welcome, just a tip. There was someone who was supposed to be named after Slowpoke, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember who. If you wanna tell me, I will gladly go back and change Slowpoke to your name. <laughs> just tell me. If you've made it this far, if you're 70 episodes in and didn't rage quit when Valley fucking murdered you, then tell me. That's the end of today's episode, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to like it. I can't believe we're 70 episodes in. That's crazy. Uh... People are definitely watching, I think, once enough built up and then going back and I think actually hitting that like button, which is uh, much appreciated. It really makes my uh, the effort I put into these feel worth it. All right, until next time, everyone. Goodbye.